Now, if you're ready to dive into the world of autonomous advertising, look no further than custom automations. The best way to describe it is everything you can do manually within the Ads Manager can now be automated. Custom automations can now be set up on campaigns, ad sets, or ad level, and perform dozens of different tasks. In this tutorial, we're gonna dive into a quick example of how to set up a custom automation on the ad set level. First, when looking at the setup page, you'll see that you can select the task here at the top. The tasks that we provide here are every single one of the tasks given within the Facebook Ads Manager, such as changing statuses, changing budgets, the bid strategy, duplicating, or even the naming structure. For this one, we're gonna do a basic task of pausing the ad set for today. Once you have the task selected, down below you'll be able to set up the triggers that will trigger this task. You can go ahead and add as many conditions as you like, as well as subgroups that can be changed from AND to OR statements and apply to any situation. The triggers that can be added here are any one of the 300 plus triggers provided within Facebook, as well as any other custom conversions that you may have set up prior to this. For example, what we're going to do is choose two different triggers, one being SPEND and one being ROAS. Now, a basic example for pausing an ad set for today would be to set spend today is higher than and ROAS today is lower than. And we can go ahead and put in static figures here as placeholders. Just for this example, we're gonna put in if the ad set has spent more than $20 today and the ROAS is below two, then pause the ad set. This is a fantastic example of a static ad set level tactic, but it can be even more detailed. Ad sets may have different budgets, leading to those with higher budgets to trigger this tactic far earlier in the day, and the target ROAS of the account may change over time. For this reason, we've introduced the ability to add dynamic figures into these tactics, so that it applies in every situation. For spend, what we can do is go ahead and create a dynamic trigger, so that it compares the spend of the ad set to the same ad set's daily budget. For the ROAS, what we can then do is go ahead and compare it to the entire accounts ROAS over the last 14 days. Now what we're able to do is build a situation where this tactic will check if every ad set has spent more than 70% of its own daily budget and the ROAS is below 80% of the ad accounts average. Again, this is just a basic example, but we're doing this in order to expand your imagination on all of the possibilities capable within custom automations. Further below in custom automations layout, you'll be able to create as many actions as you'd like within the same setup screen, but you can also choose date scheduling as well as real-time trigger activation scheduling. Date scheduling is there to run and activate an automation between specific dates, while real-time trigger activation lets you schedule these tactics and triggers between certain times of every day or certain times of specific days. Once you've gone ahead and set this up, you can go ahead and hit next, where you'll be able to choose which assets this tactic will trigger on. This can either be done through a manual selection, looking at all of your acquisition assets, or through a filtration system, which can either be done based on a campaign or ad set naming structure, ad set funnel stage, or the status of the ad set or campaign. What this builds is a situation where anything can be done to automate any asset. This is the basic setup example for custom automations. We've created this tutorial to raise the imagination of all the possibilities within custom automations. Keep in mind that back on the setup page of automation strategies, we've gone ahead and built out 30 different templates that are dynamic to each account to help you easily integrate these into your campaign strategies. If you have any more questions, always feel free to visit our app guide or reach out to our support with any questions you might have.